Elon Musk and Tesla have gotten the whole world paying much closer attention to humanoid robots over the past few years. The Tesla CEO has poured billions of dollars into this project simply because he believes that in the next two to three years, everyone will be scrambling to place orders for their robots, since the Tesla bot will basically be able to handle all kinds of useful tasks. Need a robot to take out the trash every day? Tesla bot can do that. Need one that can prep breakfast? It's already trained for that too. Or maybe you want a robot that can clean your house? That's almost too easy for Optimus. But if in the past, Tesla's Optimus had only one serious rival, the figure AI humanoid robot, things are different now. Elon Musk may need to be a lot more cautious because the number of humanoid robots packed with advanced technology is growing fast. Every month, sometimes every week, a new humanoid robot gets announced. And among Tesla's newest competitors, the Xpeng Iron Humanoid Robot is getting a ton of attention, with many people believing this might actually be the real challenger standing in Musk's way in the humanoid robot race. People believe Tesla bot might dominate in the US, but the Xpeng Iron Robot could very well win globally. Yeah, the China bot is getting a lot of praise, since its technology is on par with any leading country and its price is usually more affordable. However, Elon Musk has declared that Tesla Optimus Gen 3 will ultimately beat every competitor, especially Xpeng Iron, because he believes Tesla has three advantages Xpeng doesn't. Optimus can cook, clean, and handle household tasks that the Xpeng robot simply can't. So why does Elon Musk think Tesla will come out on top, and what makes him so confident? Let's dive in. So uh, the, 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 the scale of of, of Optimus, like I said, that's really going to be something else. Um, I think it's going to be the biggest product of all time by far. Yeah. So, like bigger than cell phones, bigger than anything. Are robots really going to take our jobs? It's a question that feels a lot less hypothetical these days, especially after Elon Musk posted on X last month saying, AI and robots will replace all jobs. Working will be optional, like growing your own vegetables instead of buying them at the store. That one line alone has everyone thinking hard, and honestly, it leaves us feeling a strange mix of excitement and anxiety. Lately, we've seen a wave of new humanoid robots pop up from China, the US, and across Europe. Most of them still look pretty rough. Awkward movements, clunky builds, and sometimes they're so unpolished that people can't help but laugh. But the Tesla bot is different. It's the one robot people are actually taking seriously because it might be the most balanced humanoid we've seen so far, both in terms of design and actual capability. We're not saying it's the world's best robot yet, but ever since the Tesla shareholder meeting, it's definitely the one getting the most attention. And Musk isn't exactly lowering expectations. He's made some wild claims about this robot, saying Optimus could end up being the biggest breakthrough in human history. According to him, each unit could work nonstop, never get tired, never need a break, and eventually create an economic abundance where people no longer have to work just to survive. Tesla plans to produce these robots in massive numbers, so many that they could become even more common than smartphones. But, but AI and humanoid robots will actually eliminate poverty. And Tesla won't be the only one that makes them. I think Tesla will pioneer this, but there will be many other companies that make humanoid robots. But there, there is only basically one way to uh, make everyone wealthy, and that is AI and robotics. Okay, even though Elon hasn't clearly stated how the Tesla bot could generate income for users, he has made it pretty clear that Optimus has the potential to make people wealthier through the useful tasks it can handle. The easiest way to picture it is this. Tesla bot can transport goods, serve food in restaurants, or even work as a barista or bartender. Tesla has already deployed them at the Tesla dinner, and that's solid proof that the robot can actually generate income. In other words, if you buy one, for around $50,000, it could pay for itself in just two to three years. Elon says Optimus could eliminate poverty and deliver great health care to everyone. In his view, that's the ultimate promise of technology. Not just making money, but genuinely making the world better. Elon Musk also points out that the core ingredients for building Optimus have been inside Tesla for years. Because Tesla cars are already robots, they just happen to roll on four wheels. Take the CyberCab RoboTaxi, for example fully autonomous, fully self-driving, basically a robot that happens to look like a vehicle. Every Tesla EV already carries the components of a humanoid robot, a battery system, power electronics, motors, a gearbox, connectivity, an AI vision stack, a custom processing chip, 
advanced control software, and the infrastructure to manage an entire autonomous fleet. All of these elements directly translate into what makes a full-size robot function. And because Tesla has already mastered these pieces at scale, Musk is convinced the company is uniquely positioned to dominate the global humanoid robotics industry. To him, Optimus is simply a robot with arms and legs. From that perspective, Musk confidently said during the meeting that Tesla is already the world's largest robot manufacturer. So Tesla is already the biggest robot manufacturer in the world because every car we make is a robot. Um, and when you break it down to the fundamental elements, you've got, you've got batteries, power electronics, uh, motors, uh, gearboxes, you've got uh, you know, connectivity, uh, you've got a, a vision-based AI. Hi, Optimus. <laughs> Let's be honest. Nothing on this planet is smarter than humans. Nothing can truly replace us, let alone overpower us. But Elon Musk is still pouring billions into this project because he genuinely believes Tesla can build a robot with a brain, arms, and legs that function almost exactly like a human's. And yeah, this is the part where the whole Terminator storyline probably flashes through your mind, right? But flip the perspective for a second. What if we had a humanoid robot that actually helps us? A personal assistant that hands you a cold beer, makes your breakfast sandwich, and cleans your entire house without you lifting a finger. We mean once we hit 60, who wouldn't want a companion like that? And that's exactly the kind of future we're going to start seeing next year with the Tesla Bot Gen 3. Have you ever stopped to think about why Elon Musk didn't give Optimus a full set of human senses or a human-like face? There's a simple reason. The more a robot looks like an actual person, the more it triggers that uneasy, almost creepy feeling in us. For example, Chinese company Aheadform released the Origin M1 humanoid robot. It can blink, nod, and mimic human expressions with jaw-dropping accuracy, and honestly, it's unsettling to watch. So Musk keeping Tesla bot's head smooth, glossy, and covered by a simple lead strip actually makes perfect sense. At least your kids won't run away screaming when you bring one home. Optimus is currently at version 2.5, and it's already capable of moving on its own, navigating office spaces, recharging itself, and handling basic tasks. But according to Musk, the next generation Optimus 3 is where things take a massive jump. He says it'll look so realistic that when you see it, it'll look like a person wearing a robot suit. And he's confirmed it's coming in the first quarter of next year. When you see Optimus 3, yeah. Uh, you, it, it will seem as though that there's someone, like a, like a person in a robot outfit, um, which is how we started with Optimus. Tesla isn't slowing down after that either. Musk says the company plans to update Optimus every year, just like a smartphone lineup. Version 4 is set for 2027, and version 5 is already on the schedule for 2028. Optimus can actually cook, not just follow some pre-programmed routine, but genuinely understand each step. It opens the fridge, selects ingredients, cuts meat, stirs food in a pan, and plates the dish. But what you might not know is that getting a robot to do all that took an enormous amount of work from Tesla's engineers. They have data collection operators, people who record human movements to train the AI system. Every day, they spend hours constantly moving to the point where the job is described as running a marathon in a lab. Dozens of employees wear tight motion, capture suits, helmets with cameras, and heavy backpacks weighing 30 to 40 pounds filled with recording equipment. They patiently repeat the simplest actions, picking up a glass of water, folding clothes, pulling curtains, wiping a table, or dancing. Every motion and gesture captured to teach Optimus how to move, respond, and interact with all kinds of objects. The Tesla bot relies on its training data, visual sensors with eight 2D cameras, tactile feedback in its hands, and dynamic control algorithms. All of this allows Optimus to perform a wide range of useful tasks in a short amount of time. But that's not even the biggest breakthrough. Every time Optimus learns a new task, the data gets stored and shared with all other robots. This means that if one Optimus learns how to make a pizza, every other Optimus instantly gains the same knowledge. And if you buy a second Optimus, the data from your first one will automatically sync to the new robot so it immediately understands your habits and preference without you having to set anything up again. This creates a decentralized learning network, the key to making Tesla's entire robot ecosystem smarter over time without requiring customers to manually program anything themselves. Picture this. You come back home after a long day and everything is spotless. The floor is shining in the evening light, the counter is clean, and even the lawn outside looks freshly trimmed. 
and you didn't do a single thing. It's not a cleaning service, and it's definitely not a friendly neighbor. It's your Tesla Optimus Gen 3, quietly parked by the wall, humming while it recharges for tomorrow. What used to sound like pure sci-fi is now starting to feel surprisingly real. Tesla's newest humanoid robot is no longer just some futuristic showpiece to parade around at tech events. Optimus Gen 3 is built to handle real, everyday chores, the kind everyone hates doing. It vacuums, mops, picks up clutter, wipes down tables, and even cuts the grass. All with the calm, methodical precision of a helper that never gets tired, never gets bored, and never loses focus. Currently, most people still frequently compare Xpeng's Iron Robot and Tesla's Optimus. Many argue that Xpeng will win this game because the Iron Robot looks more human-like, walks like a runway model, and even has synthetic skin and muscles that make it feel more like a person than a machine. Xpeng Iron really doesn't resemble traditional robots. It doesn't have an exposed metal shell. Its whole body is covered with flexible fibers, and its interior is composed of a human, like spine and bionic muscles, following a three-layer structure of bone, muscle, skin. It has a female chest, and even its height and weight are similar to those of a real human. It stands around 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs 176 pounds, uses a bionic spine and soft full-body skin, and packs more than 60 joints with up to around 200 degrees of freedom. Each hand reaches about 22 degrees of freedom, close to a human hand in size and flexibility. Its visual system covers almost 360 degrees around the body, and inside the torso, Xpeng is already talking about deploying three proprietary Turing AI chips, plus solid-state batteries for higher energy density and safety. What's most striking about iron is its walking posture, a clear departure from the rigid, clumsy, mechanical legs of earlier robots. Walking has long been a central challenge in the field of humanoid robotics. On stage, iron moves so smoothly that many people were convinced it was just a human in a suit. So Xpeng cut open the skin on the spot to prove that there was no real person hidden inside. Alongside the impressive demos, Xpeng is also positioning itself as Tesla's direct competitor, expanding from electric vehicles into humanoid robotics. Iron is deliberately designed with a more feminine, socially friendly appearance, aiming to feel like a companion rather than a bare industrial tool. The company has announced plans for mass production in 2026 using solid-state batteries and the three in-house Turing AI chips, and the CEO even predicts that within the next decade, Xpeng will sell more robots than cars. Okay, Optimus Gen 3 is a little shorter and lighter than iron, at about 5 feet 8 inches tall and roughly 125 pounds. Its top speed is capped around 5 miles per hour for safety, and its payload is tuned for practical factory jobs. About 20 pounds carried in the arms and up to 150 pounds for a deadlift. Instead of chasing maximum degrees of freedom across the entire body, Tesla uses roughly 40 degrees of freedom, but spends its complexity budget where it matters most. The hands, which now feature about 22 degrees of freedom, plus extra articulation in the wrist and forearm. The goal is not to impress the audience with lifelike hip motion, it's to let Optimus grasp tools, turn knobs, fold clothes, pick items from bins, and interact with real objects predictably and reliably. And unlike Xpeng, Tesla is not starting from zero on the AI side. Optimus is built on the same core philosophy and much of the same software stack as Tesla's full self-driving system, which has already been trained on billions of kilometers of real-world data and deployed in hundreds of thousands of cars globally. Tesla has a complete pipeline for collecting camera data, labeling it, training large neural networks, running them efficiently on edge hardware, and iterating quickly as the real world provides continuous feedback. That same pipeline now feeds Optimus. Recent demos, where the robot imitates human movements, practices basic kung fu, or picks and places objects, are not hand-coded animations, but examples of vision-based imitation learning running on a mature AI infrastructure. Xpeng also has its own physical world model and touring chips, but its ecosystem is younger more localized to China, and far smaller in terms of deployed edge devices and global data. Strategically, Xpeng is aiming iron at retail, tourism, and service scenarios first, where appearance and emotional interaction are critical. That explains why they emphasize a feminine silhouette, synthetic skin, hair, and clothing options. Tesla, in contrast, has been almost boringly consistent. Optimus exists to take over dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks in Tesla's own factories first, then in other companies' factories, and eventually in homes. That may not go viral like a robot catwalking under spotlights, 
but it targets the clearest source of economic value, labor and productivity. In that context, Optimus's supposedly simpler design suddenly looks very rational. A 125-pound robot that moves at walking speed can lift 150 pounds, but normally carries a safe 20 pounds and has a hard shell that's easy to maintain is exactly what you want around heavy machinery and human co-workers. Tesla can deploy thousands of Optimus units inside its gigafactories as soon as they are reliable enough, giving the robots a continuous high-value training ground and giving Tesla a direct incentive to keep improving them. According to Musk, three exceptionally difficult challenges have prevented most companies from building truly effective robots. Engineering functional arms and hands, developing artificial intelligence that can operate reliably in the real world, and achieving large-scale manufacturing. He emphasized that the human hand is a masterpiece, remarkably dexterous and incredibly delicate, and recreating its capabilities is the hardest task of all. Yet Musk believes Tesla is currently the only company that possesses all three of these critical elements, a combination he says competitors like Xpeng and Figure AI still do not have. Xpeng's plan to mass-produce iron in 2026 is bold, and the CEO's claim that robot sales will surpass car sales in 10 years shows strong confidence. But it also carries uncertainty. They still need to prove that enough malls, airports, hospitals, or theme parks are ready to buy and maintain fleets of very complex, skin-covered humanoids at meaningful scale. By contrast, Tesla already owns the perfect pilot customer for Optimus, its own rapidly expanding manufacturing network. In terms of global reach, Tesla also has a stronger brand, more factories, more software talent experienced with safety-critical systems, and a clearer narrative about how robots fit into its existing AI and energy ecosystem. Xpeng's iron absolutely wins today if the contest is, who can make a humanoid robot look and move most like a human on stage? But if the question is, which platform is more likely to become the backbone of a global humanoid labor force over the next 20 years? Then, Tesla's approach with Optimus, focused hardware, deep integration with a proven AI stack and immediate access to real industrial environments still looks like the safer and ultimately more powerful bet. Even in a world where Xpeng is racing forward with solid state batteries, three Turing chips and ambitious forecasts. So you will choose Tesla bot or Xpeng iron robot. Which company do you think is closer to achieving practical everyday use for humanoid robots? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown of Tesla bot and Xpeng iron robot, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next deep dive. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Which robot impressed you more? See you in the next video.